Fighting at GL 560BT on the right. So here we are at Moreton in Marsh. Please forgive me if I keep saying Moreton in the Marsh. Just sounds like there's a word missing. The Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Exit point is just over to the right. And every day of the week here, they have uh, some sort of food delivery or food van here. There's a whole board, number of boards there detailing what the bits they've got. So there's the reception itself. I think it's busy at the moment, there's still lots of arrivals. Uh, today is a Sunday. It seems to be a bit of a trend now, ice cream for dogs. Calagas here, I assume they've got some in stock, obviously a lot of people haven't at the moment. Moreton in Marsh. We'll make sure we don't walk through the barrier. There's a little information booth as you first arrive. All the usual bits and pieces. the side there, I'm not quite sure where that goes yet, but I will endeavour to find out. So it's a short five minute walk from Moreton and Marsh campsite to the actual village, or sorry, to the town. It is a historic town. I must get my facts correct. This is the main way, and up to the left you'll see there's lots more vehicles. Pictures off to the left. pictures are a good size. Uh, the left hand side here, these are all fully serviced pictures and they have a red marker. On the right hand side they are blue, so I'm not quite sure what blue means, but it's just electric hookup. Again I will endeavour to find out as I go around. And some of them just got a cream marker. So these different levels of uh, facilities I'd imagine. It looks fairly secluded down this side. So the markers here are black with a green belt on top. Right, there's another entrance here. This looks like a glamping. So I've got a glamping field here on the right. Some big old pods there. I wasn't aware that um, Caravan Club did that, but there you go. They look a reasonable size and they have a child's play area. And what looks like some extra parking, maybe for guests. So it looks like a number of rows down here. These ones have got the cream marker. I can see they've got EHU. I'm not sure that's all they have. It looks like it. I can't see any water hoses out and about. So I assume this area is all just the AHU, it's a dead end which is quite nice. It, that this site feels quite private in places, it's quite nice, you don't feel if it's all open plan. Pictures are fairly level, not had any issues there. Uh, I'm not, I think I've seen one or two on shops but not many. And this looks like it takes you down to another facilities block. So it's quite a big site, I'll try and find out how many pictures there are exactly. Uh, later on, I'll put a map up if possible. Come to the waste point, fresh water, drink of water, uh, and the dog washing area. So there's some grass only pictures here. It 
so in the nice weather, I think they're probably quite nice. This facility block looks like it might be slightly larger than the other one. We have the gents here. The ladies here. I have to match the laundry and there are other sorts of bits and pieces. So this, yeah, this goes on quite a way. I'm not quite sure how far around to walk. So lots of these signs dotted around about the various meals, things that are available. Yeah, quite an extensive site. So of course we only saw a very short bit covered in as we were only seven bays in from the front entrance. So you can carry on back round to the right there, which loops back to where we came in, but I think we'll carry on the way towards the front gate and the reception. Let's see what's around there. So these pictures look a bit older. Not quite as worth manicure, but they're adequate, nothing wrong with them at all. Um, they just hook up only as far as I can see. Oh, here's another red one here. So another fully serviced pitch just to my left there. It looks like another loop there. As you can see, I think I, I quite like the layout. Um, it's not just wide open and symmetrical, which I don't think is quite as attractive as this. We hope to venture to France uh, in October sometime. We hope you can join us then. There's a good mix of motorhomes and caravans here and although I haven't seen any tents, I assume they're not allowed, I did of course see the glamping pods a short while back. So we're back to the initial road where we came in. And when you go up, we're now looking towards the right. And another, not quite sure what this is over here, let's have a look. one of the two facility blocks All nice and clean as well as down there shower down here nice thing about these is they're uh, adjustable some also have an adjustable head which is quite nice a lot of washrooms Now the toilets get cleaned at various times and they lock them all up. There are spare ones at the end, like sort of uh, unisex ones, but uh, we've even come across a case where even they were closed at the same time, which seemed a bit strange. So on this side here we have a laundry. Baby and toddler washroom. And this looks like a loop. These ones appear to be hook up only. I think the fact that it's surrounded by trees gives it a really cozy feel. It's sort of well maintained. This is the motorhome service point. I think there's just the one. Again, there's lots of these uh, fresh water tap, wastewater taps, that sort of thing. 
Right, so it looks like we're coming back around towards the reception and the exit here. There's a couple of static buildings here, I assume they're probably to the wardens. One with then his own private car shade. It's quite nice. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. So it's a Sunday at the moment and it seems to be quite busy. Apparently there's a market over there, so we're gonna have a quick look at the market, see what that's like. The railway station, I gather, is just down that road there. So this is the way down to the uh, train station. It's, the road is directly opposite this large building, which I still haven't managed to establish quite what it is. Um, it's got a sort of churchy feel, but it's also got maybe civil buildings of some sort, I'm not quite sure. So in the distance there you can see the campsite entry sign and literally just a few hundred yards down the road they've got the Wellington Aviation Museum. You may have a quick look inside and see what it's like. here in the garage. Not a great deal to see. They charge you £3 to get in, which certainly isn't going to break the bank. And if you've got an interest in aircraft, So we hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, maybe you could click the like button. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them below.